Today's uh, talk is uh, entitled Purple Jelly Spheres Found in the Desert. Um, this is a follow-on talk from a, a video I did uh, um, back about a year ago. In fact, I think it was the start of 2012. Um, where the mystery blue spheres fell from the sky. Uh, they were witnessed by a, a Bournemouth uh, resident. Uh, some of them shattered when they fell on the floor. Uh, some of them fell on the top of his hedges uh, in a hailstorm. Um, obviously, uh, he sent these to Bournemouth University to have them analysed, and they turned out to be super absorbent polymers. Now, in that video, I suggested a mechanism. And that mechanism may or may not be right, um, given this uh, latest evidence. Um, it depends on what... F uh, obviously they fell from the sky. And I think that that, uh, that Bournemouth resident uh, uh, knows that they did. Um, but obviously the um, official line don't believe that. They don't believe that there's a mechanism that the stuff they put in nappies uh, could anyway fall from the sky. And why would it? Unless there are things called weather mod modification. Chemtrails, chemicals, uh, cloud seeding. Um, so it's all a, a part of that um, mysterious uh, area of um, denied science. Um, and yet, you know, I've downloaded documents uh, from the EEC, EEC Directive, uh, I think it's EC221. So, you know, that it's well known. Anyway, these purple spheres show an uncanny resemblance to the uh, superabsorbent polymers, um, which are, as the... Um, as that little uh, article on the Mail Online suggests, other things you get in pampers and huggies. So, and uh, the witness is absolutely certain that they were falling in a hailstorm, shattering as they made the impact. Um, so that, you know, is another thing that's uh, sort of officially denied or the Illuminati or the the official line is always held to and it's unfortunate that, that we're given uh, fed such rubbish I mean we can't believe a resident in Bournemouth you know we can't we, we just certainly couldn't do that you know um, but we have to believe what they tell us out of the television um, I'm with the Bournemouth resident um, and of course then these uh, mysterious uh, purple spheres which um, have a potential for falling out of the sky I'm going to say that because I there are some things odd about this that, that whilst they look the same they may or they may not have fallen out of the sky so I'm going to just cover why I why I, there is some doubt firstly they're in a a single cluster all together. Um, they're unusual um, and the official or sort of uh, the Illuminati excuse to these things being in the desert is that they they are um, agricultural beads or, uh, that you hydrate in water and uh, you put them into plants and they release the water slowly now on YouTube there's a video of how you do that so there may be about 50 to 100 of those beads placed into a, lit um, a container of water and in an hour and 10 minutes uh, they hydrate uh, this is uh, the absorbent polymers kind of thing that uh, you find in nappies Obviously, those blue spheres that fell from the sky uh, 
are a similar thing. So something's going on here. But I'd like to pose a question to anybody who says, oh yeah, well, you know, they're in the desert, these purple spheres, and, um, you know, they couldn't have fallen from the sky. Um, to make the quantity that you require, you would probably need to fill a 55 gallon drum with water put enough of these these uh, beads into the water so that they soak it up. Now the effort that that would take to take a 55 gallon drum into the desert in Vail and fill it up with water and put the beads in it. it it's quite a lot of effort. I mean, you would have drag marks. You'd, you probably have um, wheelbarrow marks or you know methods of of, of carrying uh, containers of water. Um, there'd be some sort of evidence of somebody doing that. Equally, if you took that many of these beads into the desert, already hydrated. I mean, you'd need a large vehicle um, or buckets, or uh, and again, you know, you'd have to transport them, and then you'd have to put them in one place. So unless this is some sort of practical joke, um, I would suggest that they have fallen from the sky. And anyone who's telling me that they didn't, I mean, unless this person was looking, for, uh, you know, wanted to hydrate. Uh, many many maybe a hundred thousand beads or something like that um, I've seen 75,000 hydrated and they take up a large volu volume of water so I think that uh, you know you could have 200,000 beads there uh, there's no doubt that these polymers do absorb water and then uh, so you'd have to say well you know what other evidence do do I have to suggest that they may have fallen out of the sky other than the Bournemouth uh, eyewitness account and um, back in 2000 which is thir obviously 13 years ago um, there's a website called Chemtrail Central and on that website of Chemtrail Central uh, there's an account of a woman exactly from Vale which is the place where these purple spheres were found and her friend was driving a car and a purple goo fell from the sky and covered a car and so if you do a, a search on chemtrails and whatever you will find that they have various different colors um, so what is this colorant in it uh, we know that the super absorbent polymers take water out of the atmosphere um, and that is uh, part of um, cloud seeding or getting rid of the water uh, in the clouds um, they did it in, in one of the Olympics in Japan I think it was at Tokyo so I did a search on uh, what the chemicals could be and um, there are a certain amount of purple chemicals used in the swimming pool industry and um, what they do some of them will will indicate acid in swimming pools uh, but they'll they'll start off pH neutral and change color to red others will and these are the interesting ones will take iron out of water so if you had an iron rich cloud uh, with moisture in it then it could pull the iron out of the cloud um, why they would be developing that, you know, the only ob obvious sort of way out there uh, idea of that would be that if there was an iron meteor meteorite hitting the earth or they had an expectation of it. However, I, I discount that. I mean, it also works with copper as well, to take copper out of water. So any of that in the atmosphere, it could be used to be stripping that out, uh, the presence of these purple chemicals. But without any analysation of the purple chemical, it's just hearsay. One of my, um, this is a final image of, of what they use these purple chemicals in. 
um, it's siliconized purple K and purple K is uh, uh, effective in firefighting and so maybe just maybe they're just testing out a, a new product of how to put out fires on the earth um, when they get out of hand and so these mystery spheres are still a mystery um, anybody who lives near them should collect some and get them chemically analyzed thank you very much uh, goodbye